Hey guys, Clint here from Riding for God. Um, two small things all that I want to talk to you about. Um, first thing, when you complaining and you saying, "Oh, the devil is robbing me, and the devil is doing this to me, and the devil is doing whatever in my life, and he's running and running a mock in my life," all right? The only reason why he's doing that is because you're allowing him to do it. Right? You are allowing him into your life. You're allowing him to run a mock and destroy and do whatever. All right. It's only up to us that the sooner we decide and we say no more, the sooner you stand up and you say no more, then that's when the devil is going to stop. Okay. The sooner you do that, the better for you. All right. The red, the devil ran a mock in my life for 15 years. And when I gave my life to God, I stood up to him and I said, that's it, enough. You're not going to steal or rob or anything from me anymore. Because that's what he does. He comes into your life slowly but surely, he works his way in. And he robs from you. He steals. He takes every single little thing that Jesus has given you and he destroys it. Because we allow it. We allow him into our house. We allow him into our lives. We allow him into our jobs, relationships, everything. We need to stop it. We need to stop telling him. He needs to stop even talking about him. He's, he's, he's a toothless idiot. All right, he's going to carry on destroying. We have the power over him. God has given us the power over him to rebuke him in the name of Jesus. We just got to do it. Dig into your scripture. Read your scripture. The devil hates scripture. He hates it when you speak, talk to scripture to him because then he starts running with his tail between his legs. Okay, you need to get him out of your life. What you just do is, what I tell a lot of people to do is open up books, uh, books Psalm 91, and read it. Pray it before you go to bed. It's a protection prayer. All right, let's open up. Keep it open up in the house, um, you know, and keep him, get, just get him out of your house because he's going to carry on doing it. All right, you need to stop allowing him and stop um, letting him get a foothold because as soon as he gets a foothold, he'll never let go and he'll hang on no matter what. All right, Jesus has given us the power over him. Rebuke him in the name of Jesus and get rid of him. He's not worth having in your house. He'll destroy everything that you have. Okay, second thing is stop complaining and saying Jesus is not doing enough for me. Jesus is doing everything in the world for you. All right. Every single day, every single minute, every single hour, he's, he's busy working for you. If, he, if, you, if Jesus and or if God goes quiet, you know he's busy doing something for you. All right. Okay, you've got to have faith. You cannot just walk and think, oh, you know, because I don't hear from God, God doesn't love me and he's not there for me and he's not doing anything for me. You don't know what he's doing in the background for you. All right, he's, keep, he's fighting for you. He's trying to keep you. He's building. He's building a future for you. He's building. He's building plans and everything for your life. Okay, we just got to trust in him. We got to walk in faith and not by sight. We don't. You, you don't have to see see it see it to believe it. All right, you have to walk in faith. It's like being being in a marriage. You have to trust your partner. Okay, because if there's no trust, you can't have a relationship with your partner or with your wife or girlfriend, whoever. You can't have a relationship. Okay, so we've got to do the same thing for God. We've got to have faith. We've got to trust Him and know that, um, that He is busy with stuff for you. He's doing stuff for you and He will answer you. Now, trust me, God doesn't answer you straight away. He's not going to say to you, yes, straight away. If you ask Him for whatever you need for in your life or whatever you're praying for in your life, okay, He's not going to answer you all the time straight away. Okay, He will answer you when the time is right and He will give it to you when the time is right. Okay, because he, he's got a whole plan all right our plans that we try for ourselves okay it doesn't work all the time we've got to have faith in him and then knowing that he's going to do it at the right time answer you at the right time okay so stop pushing the pushing the issue don't force the issue because as soon as you you force the issue that's when you mess it up okay always have faith in god and trust in god he knows better he knows every single hair on your head he knows when you were born he formed you when you were born in your mother's womb Okay, and then that's when his plan started for you. As soon as he started forming you, he had a plan for you. Right till the end of the day, until you go to heaven, he's got a plan for you. Okay, the only people that can mess up that plan for him, a uh, plan for you, is yourself. Don't mess it up. Okay, by messing it up is by not listening to him, by walking away from him, by doing your own thing. Trust in him and have faith in him. Okay, remember this all the time. Walk by faith and not by sight. All right. Okay, if you're watching this video and um, you haven't given your life to God and or you know you, you're in a bad situation or something, you need to, uh, I really do encourage you to give your life to Jesus. You know, the end of days is coming. 
the um, time is running out. He is on his way, and for me, I can't wait to see him. You know, um, all you have to do is just say a small prayer. Excuse me. You just have to say a small prayer. Um, just ask him to come into your life, give your heart to Jesus, repent your sins. You now, when I say repent your sins, is meaning that repent your sins and um, don't carry on doing what you're doing. If you're a drug addict, I know drug addicts is very, very hard. I'm an extra drug addict, and I, it was very hard for me to stop. But Jesus will be there for you. He will help you. All right. If you are a drug addict and you're battling with addictions, uh, sex, porn, drugs, whatever, and you are battling with addictions, you need help. Reach out. Don't be ashamed. We've all been down that path. I've been down those paths. I, it took me 15 years to wake up. I think it was it took me 15 years and I think God had enough and he told me enough's enough now. Now you sort yourself out or you're going to die. And look where I am today because I trust in him and I have faith in him and I've given everything to him. He, uh, I'm living in a different country. I'm living a better life. When I was on the drugs and all that, I didn't have a life. The devil had his claws in me so deep that he was running my life. You know? Now we need to stop it. You need to give your life to Jesus. Okay. If you need help, reach out to your pastors, to your families, to your friends. If you need help, don't try and do it on yourself. You know, I tried to do it on myself and I couldn't. I, I reached out for help. And people, there is people out there that will help you. There is people out there that will take care of you and look after you and guide you. You just got to trust them. All right. So please, give your life to Jesus. Start, start sorting yourself out. Get yourself out of that hole. You've probably dug yourself such a big hole that you're battling to get out. Now Jesus is standing at the end, in the top of that hole, with his hand reached out, and he wants to pull you out. So only you, only you can take his hand. Okay, nobody else can do it for you. All right, so take his hand, give your life to him, and allow him to start sorting things out for you. Allow him to start healing you inside. All right. If you need prayer, you're more than welcome to hook me. Um, um, hit me up on Facebook. I can I can pray for you. I send prayers out every day. I send lots of stuff out every day. All right. Um, those that are riding this weekend, ride with God. Be safe, please. When uh, when you're watching this video, you'll see on the bottom left corner there will be a subscribe button. Hit on the subscribe button so that we can share this movie and get it out there. Let's help those that are in need. Let's help those that are in doubt. Let's help those that have that are w walking by sight and not by faith. And let's show them that Jesus is the only way. Because there is no other way. The devil is an idiot. And I'll keep on telling him he's an idiot. Because he's just out to seek and destroy and wreck and ruin families, destroy relationships. Don't, don't, don't allow him to do it. Get, let him take those claws out of him. Stand up to him and rebuke him in the name of Jesus. Okay. Because Jesus has given us the power over him. And Jesus is the only way. Alright. Well. Please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, and I love you all, and God bless, and stay safe.